<laughs> Listen, uh, <clears throat> Listen, I don't want to, you know, mess a kid's hopes up, right? Because, you know, you know, he's playing hell of a basketball, but, you know, I'm pretty sure whoever drives him in the lottery is probably going to get fired within a few years after that draft pick. You know, the, the, how he plays the game is not how the game is being played today. So that same player you can find in the second round, so I'm pretty sure he will slip because how is he going to play defense in the NBA now? Right, you, you only really have two matchups, which is Joker, Embiid, and they're going to pull you on the outside. I mean, it's, it's, it's a different game, so unless he can develop a defensive strategy of moving around the perimeter, being switched on, he's just going to be picked on. So the waste of a lottery pick on that, I don't see it happening. But, you know, there's stupid general managers out there, so, you know, it could happen. So that was Gilbert Arenas talking about Zach Eady, Purdue starting center. They made it to the Final Four. He had a spectacular run in this tournament. They got a big win against Tennessee, and a lot of discussion has been about him since they won the game against Tennessee and they're in the final four which they'll be facing DJ Barnes and NC State which I cannot wait for that big man battle and a lot of people have been speculating and conversing about will he be draftable will he be a lottery pick will he slide in the draft go second round because he does not fit today's NBA which is fast pace small ball and you have few guys like you know Anthony Davis Jokic Joel Embiid guys who command the ball in the post and i think this is my observation of zach Eady. i think he moves a lot quicker than what gilbert arenas was saying you know he's saying he's he's slow yeah he's seven foot four he's not wimby he's not chet but i think he does move a lot quicker than what people think he moves like when they see him when they hear him especially when they see him um the i mean when i saw him two three years ago he was he was kind of slow in my opinion, but when I saw him this year, I don't know. It's just different how he's moving right now. I mean, I could I could be just exaggerating, uh, but he moves a lot f quicker. I'm not gonna say faster than a lot of people give him credit for. And there was one particular play um, in that Tennessee game. Connect the the best player on the Tennessee team, who I think will be a first rounder in my opinion. There was one particular play where Connect was one-on-one -on -one with Edie in that paint. Edie kept up with him, and he swatted that ball out of there. Like, that was impressive. Um, I don't think he's getting enough credit for that play when um, Connect was one-on-one -on -one with him in that paint, and he shadowed him like a cloud. You could not, He could not get past him. Um, I don't think a lot of people are talking about that play, but I was really impressed with that and i'm starting to believe he can play in this in the nba and rashard mccants he said something especially her um the yukon coach hurley he said if zach Eady is not a first round pick there is something wrong with the nba and i agree he's he he commands he has a post press he has a post game and he had he's like i said he's a lot quicker than what I think people gives him credit for for a guy his size. I think he's he's good around he's better around the basketball than a Rudy Gobert. And I think he can help a team if that team gives him a shot. If it's not analytical, you don't have all these computer geeks talking about we need to shoot the three ball, we need to go with the small ball. I think he can help somebody by what I saw in that Tennessee game, which he was just dominating in that post. Because this is not the same Zach Eady I saw tw um, two years ago when he really didn't have a post game. He really couldn't post anybody up. Um, he, he just had trouble, you know, getting those guys, you know, into foul trouble. He's doing that now. This is a better Zach Eady that I saw two years ago. And I think he can, in my opinion, help a team out. I don't think he's a second rounder for what I saw. But I cannot wait for that matchup against DJ Barnes. In that Connecticut team, if he if he be if he wins the Final Four, you you cannot you can't tell me that guy ain't no first round pick, especially with that Connecticut team that, with that defensive presence that they bring. 
Um, but yeah, can't wait for that game against DJ Barnes. But post comments, let me know what you guys thoughts on this discussion with Zach Eady. Do you think he will get drafted in the first round? Do you think a team will take a chance on him, or do you think they're just gonna stick with this small ball analytics and just ignore the kid? But post comments, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.